Hi, this is Don to Cowboy Biker Adventures. Join me today at Old Faithful Geyser where I show you its eruption from a couple different angles and where it even sprayed me in my camera equipment. Also, I will show you the inside and out of Old Faithful Inn and share with you the information about the Arctic. So let's get started. I think you're going to enjoy it. Here I'm picking up where I left off on the last episode where I show you the sights and scenes and sounds along the way here to Old Faithful through the park. This is Old Faithful Lodge and there's not a whole lot to show you here. There's a cafeteria and a gift shop. The gift shop I did buy a t-shirt in. The cafeteria would not allow you to eat or sit inside. Yet, they did not supply many places to sit outside to eat, which don't make sense to me because they have all this open area where they could set up some tables and chairs. But don't get me started on that. Here's one of the paths leading to Old Faithful. So coming up next is the eruption of Old Faithful. Be sure to stick around to after the credits for bonus video where I'll show you Old Faithful Inn inside and out. Is anybody sitting here? No, you can sit right there. Thank you. I don't know if I'll do much sitting. This is Old Faithful going off. I recorded this with my GoPro 7. And in the main viewing seating area, I'm probably about dead center.
This is filmed the same angle as the view I just showed you of the same eruption of Old Faithful, except for this time, instead of using my GoPro 7, this is taken with my Sony A6600 camera. And you can compare to see if it's clearer than my GoPro. Now, while I was editing this video, I put the GoPro at 150% zoom and I put my Sony at 100%. So take that in consideration when you're doing a comparison. This is a different angle. This was actually the first time I filmed Old Faithful going off. This is about 90 degrees from the other angle that I filmed and closer to the Old Faithful Lodge. And if you wait for it, you'll see another geyser going off in the background that goes off longer and bigger than Old Faithful. Also from this angle, you get more of the spray and that's what you really see. It's also where it sprayed all over my camera lens and me. So I don't recommend this angle if you come out here to watch Old Faithful. Move closer to Old Faithful Inn and you'll get a better view. Thank you very much. 
filming Old Faithful in the background, my camera caught this other geyser that went off for a very long time. In fact, I'm not showing you a whole thing. I cut out about four minutes of it. I believe the name of this geyser is Castle Geyser, but if you know different, please make comments below to educate us all. This geyser went off a lot longer than Old Faithful, and to me, it looked so much bigger. The problem is, it's unpredictable when it will go off, and who wants to sit around for hours waiting for it. That's what makes Old Faithful so popular. You can almost sit your watch by it.
this video of the O Faithful Inn right after the credits. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Even though I don't make money from YouTube, I don't want to feel like I do all this work for nothing. And some people are enjoying watching my videos. And I know this video is a long one, so I appreciate you sticking it out. But don't go anyplace, we're not done yet. Thank you for sticking around to After the Credits for bonus video. Today I'm going to bring you the Old Faithful Inn. I will show you the outside and also all around the inside. I think you're going to find it is very interesting decor and architecture. So let's take this short little walk over here to the left. Take better pictures from this side because of the sun. Despite the blistering cold temperatures in 1903 here at Yellowstone National Park, coating after coating of ice and snow and no insulation, 45 artisans found the will to craft log, stone, and iron into this amazing Old Faithful Inn. This beautiful construction was the brainchild of 29-year-old Ohio native Robert Ringer. And by the late spring of 1904, the inn, which was masterfully designed to allow visitors an instructive view of the Old Faithful, began to welcome its first guest. Smaller than I thought it would be. Best thing about it is the H, but it is definitely smaller than I thought it would be the way I've seen it on YouTube. Well, that's cool. creeks when you walk on
for so that's a old faithful out there. Old faithful went off about 15 minutes ago. Honey, they let you eat indoors here and sit indoors. Which I believe is the only place in the state park. Imagine that must be technically not for a state park. This is what everybody downstairs is waiting to get into. It must open soon. Long line. That's because this Old Faithful Inn is not run or possibly owned by National Park. So they don't have to play by the same rules. Whereas the lodge, also located here by Old Faithful, has to go by National Park rules. I don't see a bar, otherwise it would be a good place to come and have a drink. Oh my gosh, these steps are leaning and they creep too. Rocking chairs. Business is closed. Thank you for watching this adventure. Join me next time for more adventure at the Grand Tetons, including Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So until then, have a good one.